Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how to add infinite scroll using Django and HTMX in under 60 seconds. Our final product will look like this. The great thing about using infinite scroll is that you speed page load by only loading what the user wants. Okay, let's get going. We'll be following the post here, which I have left the link to in the description. I assume you've got your virtual environment set up. We'll install the packages and then create our Django app here with those commands. Which copy and paste. You'll see them pop up shortly. Once they're done, here they are. Core and Sim. Uh, Sim is the name of our, what we'll be calling our app and then in, in installed apps in core update your settings the standard thing to add an app called sim to register it now let's go and create the model and sample data section one so go into sim and then go into models and then we're going to create the model for our sample data copy it in there it is, an article. Run the migrations to create our database and the structure. You see them apply and you'll see a little database in SQL like pop up here. There it is. And now we want to generate some sample data by running a one-off script. So python manage.py, if I can type that in. And then in, we just got to copy this into our shell. As you can see, it will access our model, create some fake data, and then use this to set a photo URL for a sample image at using pixum.photos. So let's copy that in. And then you see we've created lots of articles there roughly 100 or created 100 now we're going to section two we're going to create our views so copy this go to your sim.views here and paste it in as you can see we're just going to render one page with our sample data and then this is going to create our infinite scroll by only rendering one page at a time you see this splits into articles and then per page 10 articles per page now section three we're going to update our urls go to core urls here update just copy that in and you see we're including from the urls to our new app here then we go to copy this and then we're going to create a sim urls file so go to sim urls.py and then copy this in and you can see just empty space empty string this will route to our articles view which will then render our page with our first page of data now section four we'll create our html template and we need to create a folder and then put this html into it so let's copy that now go back to sim create a new folder called templates and then we're going to create an html file called articles .html and then paste in what we've got here and you can see you've got some styling here and then articles we render each article in our page object which is paginated and then show title the Europe the photo the, any content and then if that page object if that special paginator object has says that there is another page whenever we scroll here using this hx trigger to this span then htmx will get the next page here using from the paginated object the page number and then we'll insert this before the end of this particular HTML tag and so if our page object has next then we use HTMX here to fetch another page and then swap in that new HTML from our view here just be before the end of this articles and that uses this trigger revealed so that whenever it, it is this part this element is revealed it then triggers the request so let's see it if we go and run our server here with python manage.py run server in section 5 python manage.py run server and then there you go there are articles and now you can see our scroll bar there and we should see that change as we scroll down yep you see and that is infinite scroll and we can keep scrolling and scrolling uh, f forever we've already hit our 100 articles there but if you load in 10,000 then or however many then that will that will keep scrolling forever this is great because you don't load all the content at once you just load it as the user wants it congrats you now know how to add infinite scroll with Django this generally improves user experience because things load much faster so I hope you found it useful here are other Django videos that I've made I'm making them every week if you want to get more regular updates you can there's a mailing list for updates for my product as well as free guides that I publish every couple of weeks all the best to you